In the video coming up, we'll look at Microsoft 365 and why it's a great idea for your Chromebook. So when it comes to Chrome OS, you'll already know that we have our own Google Office Suite that we can use, and it's free to use, and it is great. You've got Gmail, you've got Google Drive, you've got Google Sheets, you've got Google Docs, you've got Google Slides. There's other apps as well that they do, and they are great. And one of the good things is that they're free to use as well. Uh, so if you've got a Chromebook or anyone with a Gmail account, you've got all them apps you can use free of charge. Obviously, if you want to go to more of a business level, then there is more charges to it. Now, the great thing about Google Office products is they're great for collaboration. So if you have to work with other people and people need to access documents, then it's always going to be the Google Office workspace over Microsoft Office, for example, because it just works. It really works really well. However, although it's great and it's free to use, Office 365, which is now called Microsoft 365, has developed quite a lot since it was first out. Because I've said for a long time, when you look at the comments from people buying Chromebooks, for example, saying, can I use Excel on this? Or can I use Word on this? And it used to be, well, no, you can't, or you, you, can, you can't install it in the way you think, of like a typical way of installing a program, but you can install an Android app, or you can do that, and then, but they, they removed as well Android apps, but you can get the Android apps still. Um, but the issue was more to do with that people assume because you can install the actual program, then Chromebooks are no good if you wanted to use Office. Now, Chromebooks, and I've, I've been saying this for a long time, were ahead of their time. They're cloud computers, and it took a long time for other software developers out there to change that stance. And um, when Microsoft started to change that stance, even now, if you're, if, if you're not buying a Chromebook and you're going for a Windows PC because you want to install Office, yes, you can get programs like Office to install locally on your computer, but even Microsoft themselves are pushing people towards using it in the cloud using Microsoft 365 because that's the way forward. It, the, the idea of installing programs locally on your computer, yes, it, it's good and it, there is reasons why you might want to do so, but using it in a browser is just as good and it is the way forward. Now, although the Google Office Suite is great, I have been using Microsoft Office since leaving school. Um, so that's many, many years, and I was using Excel even when I was at school. It was a different type of Excel. It isn't the Excel we look at today. It's just a black window with a few words at the bottom, like alpha, numeric, cell, and you have to go in and to do your own formulas. It wasn't like it is today, where a lot of it's done for you. So, but as far as the Excel we see today, I was using that when I left school when I was about seventeen after getting college and then getting the workplace. So it's, a, it's something I've been using for many, many years. And because of that, I still love Excel over any other spreadsheet program. There's lots of different spreadsheet programs you can choose from, but I don't think you can beat Excel. And quite frankly, I, although I do use Microsoft Word a lot in some jobs I've done previously, um, word processing isn't such a big deal for me. But again, Microsoft Word, you can't really beat it. So when it comes to just having programs and it's not about collaboration it's mainly for yourself but maybe you just have to send it to someone by email or stuff like that then office i would say offers a better option than google does and the good thing is you can use office 365 or as they've called it now microsoft 365 for free so i would recommend trying it for free and see how it works now for me i've actually gone for the the paid version it's five pound 99 a month for if you're in the usa it's six dollars 99 a month I don't think that's bad. Or you can get it cheaper if you do a yearly subscription. And that just gives you a lot more. It gives you one terabyte of OneDrive data, uh, data uh, storage. And there's also some other benefits which we're going to look at now. So let's have a look. So as I said, if you wanted to go to um, use these packages on your Chromebook, just go to office.com. And if you add an registered or you haven't signed up you'd have to sign up but you can sign up without paying if you want to but like i said i've gone for the paid version what i like now it's microsoft 365 it's much nicer now it's much more laid out here on the sides as you can see so you've got word there and this will look very similar because this is very similar to how google drive looks when you're looking at your google sheets and google docs very very similar as you can see
like that. But it gives you access to all of these programs, which is great. Now, one thing what I do also like, it's not just about having access to these programs to use like this. Um, you do have access to Android apps as well. So if you go to services and subscriptions, so from here or subscriptions, you'll see that you've got this here. Office Mobile, click on that. Um, switch to the United Kingdom for me, but obviously wherever you are. And then you can see here, download the Microsoft Office Mobile app. Now, if you try to do this on, this is strictly mainly for your mobile, so I wouldn't do it for your Chromebook because you've already got the other way of doing it. But I'm just trying to show you that you can also download these onto your Android phone and your tablet as well and you can just get them to send you a link. So that's really good. But if we go back to here, what I also like as well is this is using it in a browser, um, but a progressive web app is much better than just using it like this. Now a progressive web app is the way forward. It's, they're better than Android apps in a sense. It obviously depends on what it is. Some Android apps are gonna be perfect to Android apps, but productivity software such as this a progressive web app is much better because a progressive web app will work on any browser. It's not just down to you've got to have Android or you've got to have iOS or you've got to have Chrome OS. It works in any browser, but it just gives you a more stable platform and it gives you a more robust and it will update better. It's essentially like having a program installed on your Chromebook. So how you can do that, if you go from home here, You'll see up here, there's a little download button up here. And if you hover over it, install Microsoft 365. So just click on that and then do install. And that's it. That may seem like that's done nothing, but this is now a progressive web app and it's much better to use it in this. Now you might not think that's much, but if you go up here, you can now see it's there. So it's installed it as an app. So then if we close these down, for example, close that as well. Although if we went to office again, like that, this looks very similar, but you can tell the difference. See where the browser bar there is just a standard color. But then if you go to here, you've got the progressive web app and you just click on there. It looks very, very similar but it will give you better performance than just using it in the browser. And it essentially means that you've got it installed on your Chromebook, which then also means if we close this down, you can do things like pinning it to your shelf. And then once you've pinned it to yourself, it's, a, it's there. It's a progressive web app you've got installed. It will update when it needs to. And I would use it, the free version, and see how you get on. I can't really go into what's the difference because there's loads of little differences. But one thing I would say, and this is why I thought oh, I'd definitely buy it. A few months ago, I did a review on ClipChamp, and that was because I do ideally want to get to a stage where I'm not doing videos like my videos for YouTube and having to use a Windows PC, or if you've got a Mac, you use a Mac PC. I do want to get to a stage where I can do it all on a Chromebook, and you can with this program, but I still use a Windows PC because the editing for me is a bit easier and I'm so used to that software. But that being said, in over time, I think I will move away from that and just use my Chromebook for video editing. And one of the ones that I recommended was ClipChamp. Now ClipChamp was, um, it's an, it was an Australian software company that created it, but Microsoft bought it a couple of years ago. But now they've actually brought it into their office suite. Now this is obviously only if you pay the subscription fee, but if you buy, if you pay for um, ClipChamp on its own, I think it's £9.99, roughly the same in dollars a month. But if you subscribe to Microsoft 365, £5.99, $6.99, you actually get it in, in there as well. You do have to install it. So you've got these here, there, so you can quickly go from there to there. You do have to install it, but if you simply go up here, and there you can see you've got ClipChamp, and you've got all these other things as well. So with that $5.99 a month, you're also getting access to ClipChamp, which is an online video editor, and bearing in mind it's an online video editor, it's pretty good. 
you know of course it's not as good as what you get if you install a, a, a professional video editor on, a, on another type of computer but it's actually really good so I think that's a really good deal that you get that as well so this video is really just to see that um, yes Chromebooks are great obviously and the Google Workspace Office software is also great but it's also about looking at the alternatives and I think we've got to that stage and I, I wrote a blog about this a while back that we need to look at this situation that we get into a stage where online computing is the way forward and that's where we will be so having a Chromebook doesn't necessarily mean because I've got a Chromebook I've got to use Google software Google Sheets if you want to use it and it works for you great but now with Microsoft 365 where it is and I've used it and it's it's very good how it works then what is the issue with having a Chromebook but when it comes to productivity maybe using Microsoft 365 I think it's great and it personally because I've used it for so many years it's just it's just for me it's easy to use and it, it is a it is better because they put so much effort effort into it over time so I would suggest if you've not used Microsoft 365 give it a go give the free version a go and if you like it that's great you don't have to upgrade but then the upgrade 599 699 a month that's not much you know it's it's like 20 or 25p a day I think it works out which isn't much and when you consider you get that extra one terabyte cloud storage then you'd have your Google Drive storage which you can obviously keep and you'd have your OneDrive storage for your office documents there's nothing wrong with having two cloud storage options I think it's a good idea so in the future I will also be doing some videos around Microsoft 365 because I do think we need to look at it on the basis of a lot of people buy laptops now to do things like surfing the internet using social media all of that stuff but they also want it for productivity as well and I think Microsoft 365 is now at a stage for me where I'm like I'm quite excited using this online it's not as bad as it was it, it's much easier to use and if you installed progressive web app you'll get a much better feeling with it as well I like just simply click on Excel open that up and there we go a little slow there to open up I'm not gonna lie but there we go and there you've got your Excel and this is like Excel like you would have on your desktop obviously there may be a few little tweaks when it gets to doing like coding maybe you might not be able to do everything but it's, it's as good as you're going to get to the original version of Excel so the days of like oh you can't use Office on Chromebooks and that's why I wouldn't use it that's gone yeah installing it locally you, you could if you really wanted to if you but why not just do it in the cloud so you just send me create that spreadsheet there and what I do like it's obviously blank I was just having a mess around but what I do like if you click on Excel then I'll add that spreadsheet but I'll have all the other spreadsheets there and then I'll have ones that are pinned and ones like share with me I think it's actually a bit more it's nicer than Google Drive at the moment in the fact that it separates them so if I went to home I'd see oh Excel documents, Word documents, PowerPoint documents, but then if you just click on the actual app on the side, you just see the documents relating to that app, which I quite like. I think visually and usability wise, Microsoft 365 has really got it to doing it well. And that's what you would expect. I'm no big fan of Microsoft Windows. I think it's a clunky operating system. Only yesterday I had problems. But when it comes to Microsoft Office, you can't really knock them. So I would give it a try at the free version, give it a go. And if you like that and you want a bit more, you can even get the paid version. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.